Day three, the kids are learning about DNA, how we are all part of one race, the human race. We just have different shades of skin. So the first one is called Spot the Color. You're gonna take a coffee filter and you're gonna cut it into strips. Using a black or a dark colored blue or brown Sharpie, you're gonna make a little dot about an inch from the bottom. Then kids are going to tape it onto a straw, which will hang over a glass with a little bit of water. You want the coffee filter to touch the water, but not the dot. As the water travels up the dot, it'll separate the color out of the Sharpie. You're also going to be doing the same thing with vegetables. So this is pureed kale. You can use any kind of lettuce, any kind of vegetable that has a really good colored pigment, like beet or carrots, sweet potatoes. You're going to chop it up in a blender and put some in the bottom of the cup. Then you're going to pour some rubbing alcohol into the cup with the pureed vegetable. And you're gonna do the same thing, taping the coffee filter onto the straw and putting it in the cup. You want the coffee filter to touch the liquid. And then as the kids wait during class, the pigment is gonna be separated and move up the coffee filter for both of these. They're also going to be doing an experiment called DNA using an onion. So this is pureed onion. A leader needs to take an onion, chop it up, and puree it in a blender or a food processor with a little bit of salt and one and a half cups of water. When you bring the smelly onions to the children, they are gonna tell you it smells. But using a strainer or maybe a slotted spoon, the kids can possibly do this, or maybe a liter. They're gonna pour some into a glass, not getting the chunky onions. So they just want the onion puree liquid. You can do this as an upfront demo, or the kids can do it in groups. Then you're going to add some meat tenderizer. You need half a teaspoon. And you need two tablespoons of dishwashing detergent. The kids can very gently give it a stir. And then it needs to sit untouched for about 10 minutes. At the end of that 10 minutes, the kids should be able to get the DNA off the top. It should come on the spoon. That's day three science experiment. <laughs>